Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our Talon 9 Let's Play where we are making our way through these upgrades. I mean, seriously, halfway through def or, uh, Heroes, we're working actually mostly on traps. And as you can see here, one of our air bombs is done in two minutes. It's like perfect timing. So guys, today and as um, the previous episode as well, today we're going to be doing two live raids, get to the upgrades and then do the comment question of the day. And thank you all so much for posting all your comments and your questions. Be sure and continue to do that for a chance to be featured in a future video. Also, while I'm thinking about it, be sure and like this video and subscribe. Most of you guys aren't subscribed still. Like 70% of you that watched aren't subscribed. What's the deal? Hit that subscribe button to join the Klaus family for daily Clash of Clans gaming videos. So, without any more delay, I say we go straight in there. I got no queen. She is upgrading. Uh, but I do have a king, I do have a CC, and I have Lunian, which has been the best strategy. I mean, I'm very pleased with the Lunian strategy. Um, and we'll see. Wow. Yes, guys, this, this is exactly what I love to find in Crystal League. I mean, you're talking, this is a dead Town Hall 11, right? I mean, like, look at the, the, uh, Inferno Towers are out of ammunition, the Eagles are out of ammunition, the X-Bows are also out of ammunition. We have three really great level Dark Elixir drills, and um, they're all kind of spread out though, so this is probably going to be a little bit of a tough one to crack, but I'm going to try my very best. So let's actually attack from this side so that we can get the highest possible chance of getting as much Dark Elixir as possible. So balloons are down, minions are down, and... Hound is down, so let's see here. Uh, I've got no real need for a poison right now. Poison, or let's uh, haste that. Let's actually drop an early rage. I want to make sure and try to keep that hound alive too, as long as I can. Um, looks like the the two drills are now cleared up very nicely. I've got one more rage. All right, one more rage. Let's actually um, maybe rage this one up here because it's going to take out the sweepers and possibly, if we're lucky, we'll clear up. The, uh, the air targeting defenses so that we can get this final Dark Elixir drill. I think this is going to work out to our advantage, guys. Finding dead bases is the best, okay? I don't know how else to put it. It's just the best, and I love it. So, there we go. Archer Tower goes down. I'd like to see this other Archer Tower go down. I don't think we're going to see that other Archer Tower go down. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to get a minion, and we're going to sniggle it in there. We're going to try to take out this... Uh, this town hall out of here, and then I'm going to try to use my king to get in there and take out that final dark elixir out of the, uh, out of the drill. Actually, yeah, because I don't think this minion has enough time. Like, one minion by itself can do a lot, but I don't think it's going to be able to get this town hall all by itself. So, king, I'm going to need you to help me out, buddy. And fortunately, this wall is open, so the king will break through the outside corner, get into that town hall, and then hopefully, if we're lucky, king will also get in there and get that dark elixir out of the drill. So, unfortunately, this is when having a low-level king, and I, we're working our, we're doing our very best, guys. Level 15 king already. I think we're on episode, like, 20-something. I don't know. I don't pay attention to that. But, um, I think we're making very great progress for our heroes. I've got a replay. I won't show you guys, but I'll show you the loot. I got literally, exactly, 6,999 Dark Elixir. 6,999. That is, like, the best number ever. And, then, of course, the loot bonus. It was over 7,000. So, Dark Elixir is coming quickly. And hopefully we can upgrade this king today, too. I didn't look at how much the upgrade is going to cost. I don't keep that stuff in my brain, uh, but hopefully it's not outrageous. So, king will get through the town hall. I'm about to pop his ability, though. He needs to get maybe, like, through the town hall. He's going to work on the clan castle next, and then hopefully he breaks through the wall from there to take out the Dark Elixir Drill. So, king's ability has been popped. I've got the uh, poison spell ready in case the queen decides to show up. I don't think she will. Um, I think we're far enough away. But, right now, I'm seeing a huge advantage. Check this out, guys. This Archer Tower, which can hit that King, is actually distracted on the King, or maybe the little Barbarians. I can't really tell. But the minion, that one minion that we ended up saving on accident, I'll be honest, I saved it on accident, is actually going to get every single drop of that Dark Elixir out of that drill. The wisdom of holding on to troops. I don't know how many times I've said that in my entire Clash of Clans career, but let's just say it one more time. There is wisdom. In holding on to troops, it's amazing. And oh, I didn't realize the timer was going to hit zero. Dang it, man. I wanted to get that Eagle Artillery. You know, you do have achievements you can unlock by taking out those key defenses. Expos, Inferno Towers, um, Eagle Artilleries, Town Halls. It's good to destroy all those things. So, with the loot bonus, almost 500,000 gold. Not very much Elixir. We didn't do so good on the Elixir. But we did amazing on the Dark Elixir. 5,900. 
That's great stuff right there. So let me look at this real quick, all right? The king, oh yes. Look at that, I didn't even plan this. 55,000 Dark Elixir to upgrade the king to level 16. That is perfect, because it's 55,000, and we have currently 58,000 versus, and a plus, I got nothing in the treasury, so that's not even a thing. So there you go, that is awesome. And just to show you guys, there we go, Dr. Amir, 80. Uh, 6,999 Dark Looks are there in the very middle of the page. That is been amazing. It's been amazing loot. 4,900 there, 3,300. It's getting worse as we go. But yeah, that those were some massive loot gains. So I'm going to request. I'm going to get myself a hound, and I'll donate to myself so it's quicker. But um, eight minutes till the king wakes up. So we're basically going to attack without heroes. But whenever you have the hound, look at this, guys. Oh, I was about to say, dang, it's not loading. Um, so whenever you um, have your hound in your CC, it makes it way, way better. I hit the button. Come on. Oh, my my game reset. I had it open and it, it, it quit. I don't know what that was all about. All right. This one should work this time. Boom. I got a level five lava hound from Klaus. Thank you, Klaus. You're welcome, Klaus. You're very welcome. All right. So let's go, guys. One more. Let's get some more Dark Elixir. Those dead Town Hall 11s. I'm a Town Hall 9. I don't mind hitting a dead Town Hall 11 because I know I can sniggle in there and take out as much Dark Elixir as I can possibly get and as much as I need. I mean, dude, if I'm getting four, five, six thousand Dark Elixir per raid, we're going to keep our heroes down consistently. And that is always the goal. So I'll be right back, guys, once I find another great base, something where I can get tons of Dark Elixir. And remember, no heroes, so no way to save ourselves. We've got to be sure that this next base is a little bit easier to take out. All right, guys, here we go. A dead Town Hall 9. I don't mind hitting dead Town Hall 9s. Um, lots of gold, lots of Elixir, and a very nice amount of Dark Elixir. 4,000 is beautiful, and it looks like... <laughs> wow. Look at this base. Both of the Dark Elixir drills are on the same in the same spot that is amazing we do have a drill out here pointing down so that's that, i mean i'm sorry that's a sweeper we do have a sweeper there pointing down so that may be a problem so how about if we did it like this first of all let's just send a few balloons to take out the sweeper down here just so it's not a problem i'm thinking we actually attack from the top and prioritize sweeping the uh, like throwing hay spells and rage spells down to the right it can be done watch this all right so balloons get in there guys yeah 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 let's go hound Let's go minions. I'm going to save a bunch of minions because right now the idea is mostly just to clear out defenses and help everything clear out going forward. Now, I did not consider the pathing. Okay, okay. Balloons, balloons. Go, go, go. Go into the core. Into the core. Into the core. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. And then they split off and go the opposite direction. Fantastic. Okay. Um, not the best. Let's just get... Let's just get the minions down here. Okay, let's get another rage spell. These balloons went off in the wrong flipping direction. I was so confident. I felt so good about that. And then it just all went to pot. It really did. I had an extra poison spell. I didn't have enough uh, hay spells too. I think that was a pretty big part of what went horribly, horribly wrong in this raid. Um, fortunately, dude, I have a ton of golden elixir that I'm about to get. So that's good. Lots of collector loot right here. We do have some minions that are working. I don't know if they're outside the range of the air defense. Yes, they are. So we are going to get the town hall. So we will get a two star. But man, I, what are the odds? I thought the defenses were evenly spread. I thought the the the, the balloons were just going to kind of like come down. And then I was going to prioritize the ones going that way. That was what I was going to do. But apparently not. Apparently, we're not the chosen ones. Anakin, we're not the chosen ones. So... Poison spill over the king just to slow him down a little bit. Let the minions kind of catch up. Get away! No! Air defense! Stupid air defense. Now the king's going to survive. Absolutely nothing went right in that attack. All right, so we get 70%. The arch tower is going to shoot them down. There's no loot down here, so there's no point in waiting. They're all going to die. So, this is one of those situations, and I'm sure all of you have had this happen to you before, where you, you know... Tried to attack from one side, expected your troops to go one direction, and they went the wrong direction. How typical, right? Uh, but, okay, gold. We needed, actually, I needed gold more than I needed Dark Elixir. I'll just be honest. I was a little worried about having enough gold to get all of my builders busy today. Plenty of uh, of Elixir and an okay amount of Dark Elixir. I mean, anything more than zero is is better than none, right? So, let's just be happy with that, although I am a little bit irritated. 
So, now we have done our upgrades, let's bounce into our progress base and let's get some stuff done. First and foremost, the king to level 16. Remember, we actually determined that halfway through for the uh, for Tunnel 9, for the king's actually level 20. So we're trying to get to level 20 as soon as we can, because you start out with level 10, you finish at 30, halfway point is 20. So, let's try to get this king to 20 as soon as we can, starting with level 16, 55,000 Dark Elixir, 3D upgrade, and 3, 2, 1, bam. Cool. Okay, so do I need to spend my book of heroes? I oh, five hundred gems though. I, I I forgot about that. So how much is this? This is um, five hundred and six. Wow. Okay. So guys, if we go into the trader and we buy a book of heroes, we save six gems. A horrible deal. Why are books of heroes so expensive for Town Hall nines? I mean, I get it for like Town Hall. 11s and 12s because their hero upgrades are seven day upgrades, right? But not Town Hall 9. I'm not going to buy that book of heroes. There's no way. All right. So <laughs> King and Queen are locked in. The uh, laboratory also has two days, so it's locked in. So now it comes down to the rest of our builders. I've got three builders and I've got a whole bunch of defenses. In fact, today, ideally, we'll finish off the three air bombs, which means that we need another 1.5 million gold because three times one and a half is four and a half. So let me see. Do I have anything in my treasury? I have nothing in my treasury. So I'm going to go in, buy some gold. I've still got 200 metals, so we're good. And now I can afford to use all three builders. There we go. All three builders. That's six. That's not three. Anyway, so let's upgrade two of them and then just look at what we got left. Okay. Each one's a one day upgrade. So there we go. Let's move these babies across, getting the air bombs maxed. By the way, I'm just going to confirm level four is max. Yes. Awesome. Okay. So air bombs getting done. I know traps aren't the most exciting thing to watch getting upgraded, but it is an essential thing and it is kind of clutter. So it's kind of nice to get the clutter over with. So we got one more builder left. I've got 2.4 million elixir. I'm going to hold on to the elixir just because I know I'm going to be trying to upgrade likely the uh, baby dragon next time. That's, I don't know, maybe we'll upgrade the baby dragon. I don't know, but that, that means we need 5 million elixir. So I'm going to hold on to my elixir and I've got 2.6 million gold. I'm going to need 1.5. So I've got 1 million left over and these wall upgrades are also 1 million Perfecto. Let's go. Let's do this. One wall and three, two, one. Bam. Awesome. Now, the question also is, do I have any wall rings? I, I thought on one of my accounts I had wall rings. I don't on this account. Okay, I'll check in. It may be my Town Hall 11 going to Town Hall 12 tomorrow, I believe. So, let's upgrade this final air bomb, guys, to level four. And we're done with air traps. Yes, we did the seeking air mines. We just finished the air bombs. Everything else is ground-based. That's awesome. Let's go in three, two, one. Bam. Sick, dude. Sick. By the way, I just want to mention something here. Let's get this air bomb back down here. Check this out. This is a great example of how gemming stuff, like gemming, like, like letting an upgrade go for a week and then gemming the last day is super inefficient. Okay, check this out. So a 24-hour upgrade, 259 gems. A three-day upgrade, 506. Now you would think, wait a minute, a one day is about 250 gems, a two day should be double, right? It's double the time, should be double the gems, but no. Actually, three days is double the gems. So basically that means that if you gem the last day, but you let the other six take place, then you're actually barely saving any gems. If you're gonna gem, gem early or don't gem at all. That's good advice. All right, so final air bomb moves across the way. Let's put it in its place. Collect the loot because I can't help it. And there we go. Awesome. So we got three air bombs rolling, both the king and the queen going to level 16. So awesome stuff. And now that we've done all of our epic upgrades and we're actually kind of sort of uh, by holding on to some elixir preparing for the next, maybe not the next episode, but the episode after that with the laboratory. But after all of that is done, guys, and both heroes upgrading, it looks so good. I love it. Having both heroes upgrading is the most efficient way to upgrade your heroes, by the way. Now it is time for today's comment question of the day. This is the second one of our Town Hall 9 Let's Play, so you guys already knew it was coming. Be sure and post your comments and your questions down below to maybe be featured in a future episode. So today, the question is actually going to come, going to come from Mate Clicksaney. Okay, hope I said your name right. Probably didn't. I apologize. But Mate, his question is, will you do a Town Hall 8 upgrade guide? 
So, for those of you that are unfamiliar, maybe new to the channel, by the way, hit that subscribe button. I already talked about that, but do it. Subscribe. But he's asking about the upgrade guides. I just released in this month of September um, a Town Hall 9, 10, 11, and 12 upgrade guides, basically showing you what you should upgrade first and why. I didn't cover Town Hall 8 or 7 or 6 or 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The reason being is because nothing has really changed for Town Hall 8 since like Town Hall 11 was released, and that was nearly four years ago. So the old Town Hall 8 upgrade guide is still relevant. It still is perfectly fine. There's nothing that really has changed. So I don't feel like I need to go through the effort of making the guide if it's going to have the exact same information as the old guide. So that's why I didn't do it. I mean, um, I know you guys that are Town Hall 8 or lower, maybe you feel a little bit left out, but again, the older guides are relevant. They still work. It's good information. You guys can use it to continue to advance your base and um, move on up in the world. So that's why I'm not making a Town Hall 8 upgrade, upgrade guide. If you really want me to make a Town Hall 8 upgrade guide, then check out the comment section. I will have a pinned comment. I'll have a pinned post um, and give that pin post a thumbs up. If I forget to do that, then somebody please post a comment saying pin this so Klaus can see it, Town Hall 8 upgrade guide, and give that one a thumbs up. If I get a lot of thumbs up, I'm talking like a thousand, then um, then we'll probably go for it. All right. So guys, that's going to be it for me today. Thank you, mate, for the question. Be sure again to post your questions down below. Again, like this video. If you liked it, hit that subscribe button down below if you are loving it to join the class family and to get daily Clash of Clans gaming videos. And um, shout out to having both heroes upgrading and getting the traps over with. It is awesome. Remember, guys, that I love each and every one of you, and I will see you all again next time.